everyone. I wanted to talk today about self-esteem and a blog I read this morning when I first woke up and I wanted to make sure it was okay with this um, individual. Her name is Christy like mine and I will put all of her information in the sidebar. She is somebody that really inspires me. One of my biggest fears is to put everything out there. I am a talker. You all know that. I am a very open book person. But there's still a lot of things I feel inside that I just can't bring myself to confront a lot of fears. <clears throat> Self-esteem is one of the biggest ones. So, I asked Christy this morning through email if it would be okay if I discussed her and her blog this morning. And um, she told me that would be fine. So, this morning she writes self-esteem. I didn't know how to start this blog because I am still somewhat hurt over the event that triggered me to write this. Before I get into it, I want to pose a question. I want to pose the same question as her. Is it solely our job to build up our own self-esteem? I was quite surprised when I started researching the word self-esteem. Now I understand that the word self would refer to myself. It is singular and it would seem that it would be only for me. What defines self-esteem? Wikipedia defines self-esteem as In psychology, self-esteem reflects a person's overall evaluation or appraisal of her or his own worth. Self-esteem can apply significantly to a particular dimension. For example, I believe I am a good writer, she says, and feel proud that, in particular, or have global extent, for example, she believes she is a good person and she should feel proud and she says, I believe I am a good person and I feel proud of myself in general. Very good person you are, Christy. I look up to you for many ways you don't even know. I decided to dig a little deeper, she says. Self-esteem is a concept of personality for it to grow. We need to have self-worthy and this self-worthy will be sought from embracing challenges that result in the showing of success. Brandon's 1969. I guess the last few sentences is what I wanted to read. Okay, so someone who is close to me who has shared life with me for the past 16 years said to me, Christy, it is not my job to build up your self-esteem. Christy, I've heard the same thing from someone in my life. Now, this was during an argument that we were both calm. I was not feeling important to this person and they decided to let me know that it wasn't their job to make me feel that way. It's been about three days since this happened, and I have had time to just let it soak in. I can look at it with a little bit clearer view, and I can see that while no, it isn't someone else's job to build up our self-esteem, it is certainly nice to have someone in your life who helps. Self-worth does not have anything to do with what you are worth to someone else. But I guess I'm not programmed in the way that if I don't mean anything to someone who I have shared over half of my life with, then how could I possibly feel good about myself? I agree. In the same way. I know that there are people out there who feel good about themselves and do not need acceptance or approval from others. I envy those people. Can you just imagine? I would love to go through my day and just say, Wow, self, you are fantastic. You should be so happy. Instead of, Wow, self, I can't believe you just said that. Or, What were you thinking? 
Did you really just eat that? Wow, that shirt would look so good on someone else. Self-talk is a big thing in my life, but isn't the talk we get from those around us just as important as to our self-esteem? I believe it is. I know I'm missing something in this whole self thing. I know that if I were giving advice to someone else, I would probably tell them it does not matter what others think. It is what you think of yourself. So why did it hurt so much to have that someone else tell me what they think? Today is my Friday for work. I have three days off and I am looking forward to them. I have to do more exercises to build up my self-worth so that I can have better self-esteem. But some days, the word I seems so alone. To all of those who are feeling lonely today or tonight, give yourself a big hug. You are not alone. So, on reflection of finding Christie's blog, I feel the exact same way. This is going to sound so stupid, but I can only say it how I feel it. Why do I feel more self-conscious now than I did when I was 400 pounds? Why did I feel more accepted at 400 pounds than I do now, almost half of what I was then? Why do I beat myself up if I eat a little more than what I should? I beat myself up when I don't get the exercising that I need to? Why is it that I worry more about my, my body at almost 200 pounds even than I did at 400 pounds? Why do I care about what people think of me now but I didn't really then? Why do I nitpick every single thing about myself now and didn't really then? Was I so sick I just didn't care? Is it because I am afraid of failing? I am afraid of failing. I'm so afraid that I'm going to gain all this weight back. And go back to 400 pounds. So I'm going to say, I won't. I won't. I'm not going to go back to that life. Was I happy? Yes. But sick, yes. So why am I having a hard time finding happiness almost 200 pounds less than what I was? I got attention then, but I get attention now. Different attention, yes. A lot of unwanted attention, yes. A lot of positive attention that I would love for my self-esteem, yes. But I'm just having a really hard time finding a happy medium place. And I think a lot about my self-esteem now than I have ever in the 29 years that I've spent on this earth. So I just want to tell Christy from the other Christy, Thank you. You have no idea what your blogs mean to me. We were both born the same year. I wonder if it's something to do with the year we were born and the water that our mothers drank. I don't know. So, just an emotional self-esteem day. And um, I appreciate your blog. I really, really do. So the question I pose is, will I ever feel bot better in this body? this better, healthy, wonderful body that I have, that it's always like, I can do this to look better. I can do this to look better in that shirt. I can do better with, you know, this. I can work out more. I can stop eating. I can do this. I can do that just to look better. Why was I not obsessed with that at 400 pounds like I am now?